Hello and welcome to the week one recap. Side note, anybody looking to collude, Lisa seems a little bit left out, so feel free to send her a message on Facebook. That being said, Team Half Chub came short and lost to the Wompton Super Scrubs, and Omar is looking good per usual. In the closest matchup of the week, Seattle Chris and Bond were able to sneak out with the victory against J Con and Young AB. Not gonna lie, I was feeling pretty comfortable when Deshaun Jackson was doing front flips in the end zone after catching his second touchdown of the day after coming off a broken finger, but Matt Bryant didn't even get a shot at an extra point. Cause they started going for two, let alone a field goal, because they were getting beat by so much. And then the Chargers and the Colts go into overtime. Chris and Bonnie have T.Y. Hilton and Keenan Allen and that was enough to do it. Town Business put up impressive numbers and beat Team Davenport. Congratulations to CJ for success on his first fantasy football game. The Seda Steelies put up a number of 105 that and lost to Team Marry Me. Congratulations to the newlyweds for their week one victory. Sorry, Tanny, I know you wanted to put up the least amount of points this week, but David would not be denied. The legend of Wu-Tang put up 104, and the DC Universe got their first win with a whopping 109. As David said earlier, all of the co-ownerships won their matchups week one, so maybe two brains are better than one, at the beginning at least. And that brings us to the matchup of the week, the Clash of the Titans. Last year's defending champ Mike, this one's for the kids, put up a very impressive 149, but the grind started out strong as they usually do and put up 199 points. Almost 200, almost a league record, close. So without further ado, I would like to congratulate Rach and June for winning week one's owner of the week. That does it for the week one recap. Don't forget to check the waiver wire, set your lineups, maybe start thinking about trades, and I'll see you guys next week.